Good evening, Bahamas. You're tuned into MB12 Weekend, broadcasting from Cable 12 Studios in Robinson Road. Coming up tonight, a former governor general talks about the escalation of crime over the years. Police make a major drug bust. Greycliff gets ready for the most wonderful time of year. How some youngsters plan to make Thanksgiving special for the elderly. Plus, the cutest pictures you'll see this week. I'm Paige McCartney. We've got those stories and more straight ahead on MB12 Weekend. Welcome once again to MB12. With the murder count continuing to soar and authorities admitting that they're not surprised by the rise, former Governor General Sir Arthur Folk says it's clear the issue won't be solved anytime soon. Here's Jasmine Brown. While the former Governor General insists no one person has the answer, he also says fighting violence with violence is not a problem solver. If you're against violence, you don't solve the problem of violence with more violence. Folks was a featured speaker at the Rotary Club of Southeast Nassau this week, and he says many still believe capital punishment would be a deterrent, but that's a tactic he simply cannot ascribe. To. If the state get the state, what those people are saying is the state should get in on the act and start killing too. I am utterly opposed to capital punishment. I think I think it makes killers of us all. It is demeaning to society. On Tuesday, Police Commissioner Allison Greenslade insisted he is not surprised that the 2011 murder record was broken and warned that the count will continue to rise unless there are some legislative and policy changes. His comments came hours after a man was shot and killed in Nassau Village. Following that incident, members of the police force's SWAT team flooded Nassau Village, set up roadblocks and conducted random searches. But folks says it's not just about reactionary policing, but also about preventative measures that must be taken by the entire society. He further insisted reaching at-risk young men before they turn to a life of crime is key. Our job is to save these young people, not to hang them, to save them. That's our job. And hopefully save them before they get to the stage where they're committing, you know, horrendous crimes like murder. Prime Minister Perry Christie said on Monday the police force will roll out new crime-fighting measures in the coming weeks. Reporting for NB12, I'm Jasmine Brown. Well, Chairman of the Democratic National Alliance, Andrew Wilson, says Bahamians have been doing all they can to find a solution to crime, but he says this problem needs divine intervention. God help those who help themselves. We have been marching, we have been praying in Rawson Square, but the God that created us, created us with the ability to solve our problems. So when we take the first step in battling crime, then God will step in and do the rest. But Wilson said it's the nation's leaders who are not doing all that they can. For a minister of a government to say to the Bahamian people, you must march, you must pray, when God gave us the talent and the ability to deal with our problems ourselves is a national disgrace. Well, police say three men are in custody after being found in possession of a large quantity of suspected marijuana. Reports are that shortly after 10 Friday night, the Drug Enforcement Unit and Police Marine Support Unit, with assistance from their U.S. counterparts, arrested two men from Long Island and a man from Andros, just two miles south of South Beach in a speedboat containing 195 pounds of marijuana. Police investigations continue. Well, Prime Minister Perry Christie's performance over the past three years is a clear indication that he should retire from politics. That's according to opposition leader Dr. Hubert Minnis, who says the PLP's current term in office has been marred by repeated failures under Christie's leadership. These failures, Dr. Minnis says, cast a dark shadow on the Prime Minister's legacy. Christie should retire and enjoy himself. But if he don't want to do that, I, in conjunction with the young people who will support me, will force him into retirement. So you have a choice. Be forced 
or walk. Christie has faced criticism over his administration's record thus far at a time when Baja Mar's future is uncertain and this year's murder count continues at a record-breaking pace. But in September, the prime minister told a crowd of supporters in North Andros that he plans to offer himself for re-election as leader of the party. Nine months earlier, he had told his family during the lead up to the last general election that the 2012 race would have been his final. At that time, Mr. Christie said he needed a compelling, tangible reason to stay on as PLP leader. Minnis insists Christie is out of touch with a fed up Bahamian electorate. The young people make up a great number of the voters. They think, they analyze things, they have come to the, their conclusion about the